so we back with another video today we got y'all boys with a series that i started on 20 we bringing it back build wars now i will be doing the build comparisons like i'm gonna do in this video but if y'all want me to do it more so how i used to where i give y'all gameplays of a build then compare it to another build it's kind of tougher to do that because there's no pie chart there's no build name that's like gonna be like that but if y'all do want that i will do my best to do that that's gonna be a whole different title i don't know if i'm gonna even call that build wars or i'm not gonna call this but today we're gonna be doing a build comparison comparing small guards to big guards and how the variety is in this game we're gonna be comparing the 6-3 versus 6-6 if y'all do want more of these i was gonna do different heights for locks i was gonna do different heights for bigs where you got like the back end builds versus the big big man builds y'all do want these make sure to like the video make sure to subscribe if you're new without further ado man i appreciate all the support let's hop into it Let's go! all right so let's hop into it young mm if you don't know what it stands for you may never know simple as that let's get to it now when it comes to making the small guards it don't really matter it's up to you but like i said in the video the title is gonna say 6-3 now when it comes to making these builds the variety in the game when it comes to making a guard, I'm going to be honest, it's one of the most variety we've had ever. I think 2K22 was up there in the variety, especially when it came to the glitch builds. But I guess when you make the glitch builds, the heights that was in between the glitch builds kind of had no use. I really do think there's a use of 6'2 all the way to 6'6. Six, six. So 6'2, six, 6'3, 6'4, 6'5, 6'6 are all really good guard builds. I even see people making 5'9s. That's a very popular um, and I also see people making six sevens and playing with them on guard. So it's a lot of variety that you can have on this game for a guard. But today we're going to be discussing the 6-3 versus the 6-6 six, six because I think the 6-3 is, in my opinion, the most popular because of the fact that it's the tallest you can get many marksmen. I personally like the 6 foot 4 more than the 6-3. But we'll do the six for four when we talk about the cat breakers because this video I'm not going to focus too much on cat breakers. I'm going to really just more so focus on the build that you can make before you hit starter three. But I know a lot of people starting to get their cat breakers. So that video will come out later in the year. But six three, um, when it comes to if I was to make this, I would try to get like the 97. So six foot five wingspan. Um, 99 three ball. Uh, some, I've seen a lot of people make six threes with 99. I don't think it's really necessary. Um, especially when you think about the fact you can get max plus one um, But yeah weight I would lower my weight just to make sure I could or raise my weight just to make sure I can have it, it, it don't really matter I guess I would make sure I can have 91 speed of ball, but whatever I can get extra I'll do that so six foot three two twenty six foot five. This is just a test stuff. Do you don't have to I'm not saying I would make it like this This is just to test stuff out. So when it comes to making a six three build let's go ahead and look at it um actually let's look at it from the screen first so six three two twenty six for five you'll be able to have 92 strength 91 agility so that's gonna be good for the lateral quickness 70 97 steel 99 perimeter defense 91 speed with ball 97 ball handle 99 pass accuracy which is kind of every build but 97 three ball 92 driving dunk say for instance if we want to make it at a six six what would i do um 6'6 six, six, I would probably more so if I wanted to have a high three ball like I showed you guys on the other build it would be 93 or I would go with the 610 wingspan with an 89 so I can be that silver limitless but I will say 93 is gonna be nice to have because you're gonna be able to get like a lot of those gold shooting badges that's gonna just be very nice to have now also another thing that you also could do if you just go 610 you could go 6'9 and just go mid range to get a lot of your shooting badges and then go 89 three ball. Now, when it comes to the weight, what I would go for on this, I would want to have that 80, I think 86 wheel ball is what you need. And I would just have as much strength alongside that. And the highest strength you can possibly have is 76. So let me make sure I'm getting that right. So yeah, you would need, yeah, you need 86. So, yeah, and that would be a 66 overall. We're going to break all that down. So, 6 for 6, 195, 6, 9, that's how I do it. Now, let's go back to making it at the 6-3. Let's see how cheap some of this stuff is 
at every single attribute. So I believe the other build, actually, before I go move on, because I did mess this part up, I want to make sure that we see what the driving up. Oh, so it's just going to be a 97 driving up. So you have a five difference of driving up. You have a seven difference of three ball. So, or really not seven. You would have eight because we're not going to go 93 ball. I'm just going to be honest. But yeah, let's go ahead. Go to the six foot three with the six foot five and a 220. Now, this is not to say that everybody going to make theirs like this. This is just to show you guys how much overall it would take. So, it will be, if you want to have max speed with ball on a 6.6, six, it was a 66 overall. If you want to have a 91, it would be a 72. So, that's six difference of overall. But you also got to think about it. You're going to be getting more speed because of that. You're going to be getting more ball handle because of that. And you're going to be getting more agility because of that. It just raises more attributes. So, yeah, it's a 72, but you're also raising a lot of other attributes as well as the speed with ball now say for instance if we actually was to go for a 97 three ball that's going to be a 58 overall now to go along with that to go for the driving nook if i was to go for a 90 am i gonna go for a 92 no the highest i possibly will actually go probably with this since you don't get 93 would probably be 89 89 would be what you could get and that costs 65 overall let me make sure i did that right make sure i reset it again yeah and 65 overall um to go alongside that on my pass accuracy now this is something that only really i do i i've seen i think for guards 89 pass accuracy is kind of mandatory so you can at least have silver versatile visionary um that's just me though um simple as that if you want to have it higher or lower that's on you i've seen a lot of people say it doesn't really matter the difference. Me personally, I got to add mine to that magnitude. So yeah, 89 pass accuracy is what I like to have on my build. So 89 pass accuracy, 60 overall. We're going to check all this stuff when we look at the other version. These are just all the important attributes that it is. So yeah, I probably should have went one by one, but it is what it is. So yeah. And then when it comes to... What's another one that's pretty important... I guess steel. Steel, I would probably go like 94. 58 overall. And then for the printed defense, which is actually pretty important, especially on a smaller guard build. If I wanted to go 85, that's 54. If I wanted to go 92, that's a 63. Why did that cost that much more? So it went from 54 to 63. That's a nine difference in overall for a seven difference in rating on the bill. That's pretty crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so that's the 6'3". Let's get into the 6'6". Six, six. So 6'6", six, 6'9", six, six, and we're gonna go down on the weight just to make sure that we have our 86 speed of ball. Now, when it comes to making it here, let's do this because this was fresh on our memory. So this was cheaper at 6'6". Six, six. It was 54 at 6'3". And if we did the 92, it was 63. It is now a 58. So that's cheaper. When it comes to doing a steal, I believe this was 58. If I want to have a 94 steal on mine, okay, that's cheaper. So the defense seems like it's cheaper at 6'6". Six, six. That's kind of another reason why a lot of people like making a locks at 6'6 six six as well. Now, to go alongside that, we already seen the speed of ball. This was cheaper, but it was cheaper because it's raising a lot of other things less. So I don't really know how much cheaper that actually is. Spew a ball or not spew a ball, three ball. Um, I don't even remember what this was, but that's 46. I know that's not the same. But if I was to raise this as well, to be able to have all these other badges. So if I went 95 to get these two Hall of Fame, Shifty Shooter could go Hall of Fame, but I would have to raise agility. So let's just raise that to see what I could get. I don't remember what overall it was, but this is close to the same overall. I'm not even gonna lie. This is kind of close to the same overall. Okay, and then I wouldn't be able to get this any higher. So let's just get the bare minimum. Let's get the bare minimum for this. So I'm gonna go 89 three ball again. Then we are gonna go 95. I guess I could go 96, just because we are doing it for that. I think it's 76 agility. That's a 72 overall. So that's a 72 overall if I wanted to be able to have all these shooting badges, Hall of Fame, and then Silver Limitless Range. 
Say for instance, if I was to make it at 6'3", just to check it back again, we're not gonna do the, the weight this time because there's no point. That's 15 overall cheaper. Now, one thing that 2K did market coming into the year, it's cheaper to get majority of stuff when you go shorter. So that's understood. But the defensive stuff actually was cheaper at 6'6". Six, six. So if you really, like the real reason why you would even go taller is to be better on defense. But you don't really think that in theory, it's cheaper to get defense on a taller build as well. That's kind of surprising. So yeah, the the playmaking, we don't know if it's too much. Oh, let me do this real quick, pass accuracy. Because we, we don't know if this is cheaper. This should be cheaper. So that's 60 overall. If I was to do it at 6'6". Six, six, that's a 57 overall. That's a 56 overall. Let me check it again because I low-key did forget. Yeah, I think it is cheaper at taller. The taller height. Yes, it is cheaper. So pass accuracy playmaking seems like it's actually cheaper at the 6'6". And the defensive stats seem cheaper at the 6'6". The only thing is... Um, if you was to get the shooting, the shooting is much cheaper at the 6'3", like much cheaper. Now, um, I did the driving up, but the only thing I could really get on this would be 89. So we're just going to go comp comparison to comparison. So 89, that's going to be a 65. Um, and then real quick, since we're not going to be able to get that crazy high, it would just make sense to do it like this. So 65, just to make sure. So 65, I did forget it. So let me check it one more time. If I was to get... 89 that's a 65 okay so i was right on that so 65 i forgot the other one already i'm not even gonna lie um it was like 60 something i think it's around the same for that um and then driving dunk you go 89 just cheaper so i'm not gonna lie i thought the shorter you go everything was gonna be cheaper but the only thing that seems cheaper is the three ball. The, the shooting ability is significantly cheaper. But everything else, finishing, playmaking, defense, all seem cheaper at the 6'6". Six, six. And that is actually surprising. I didn't test this. I didn't know this. But all that seems cheaper. Now, let's check the physicals. Now, the physicals is kind of important. Um, so just so that we can be able to have as much on the physicals, um, I think I would go for 85 strength. Yeah, I think 85 would be a good little, little soft spot. So say for instance, if I want to have 90 agility, that's 57 overall, um, 57 overall, if I want to have 85 strength, that's 37 overall. If I wanted to have, the thing that I go for a majority of my builds is 75 vert. But I the highest I would go is actually 90. So we're going to check 90. That's 44 overall. So we're going to check all that at 63. At this point, I'm going to just show you guys, but I don't really remember. I think it was 44, 37, and something else for the agility. I don't even remember. But let's go up on weight. Just so we can be able to have the adequate strength that we just had. So if we was to go, I know this was 44. Okay. That seems cheaper. This is cheaper. And then, I don't know what it was. But physical seemed cheaper. Yeah, I believe the agility was 60. I could be wrong though. Let's just check it real quick. Let's just check it real quick. Okay, so no, it wasn't cheaper. I have a six for that was six for six, six for five though. I don't know if this is cheaper. Yeah, so 57, 6, 3. 59. So yeah, the agility is not cheaper, but the strength and vertical is cheaper on a 6-3. Which is kind of weird. Okay. Okay. So that's pretty much for the most part. The only things I think. I personally care about ball handle matters, but like on this game, you just getting ball handles to pretty much get your your um to get your rating. So I guess we can check that real quick. So 92, if I was to go 92 ball handle, that would be a 69 overall. 
If I was to do it at 6-6, six, six, if I was to do the same thing at 6-6, six, six, that's a 66. So I think at 6-3, 92 ball handle was cheaper. But for the most part, agility seems cheaper. Ball handle seems cheaper. Shooting ability seems cheaper. But I did have to put up just more shooting stats on the 6-6. Six, six. So not really 100% on if that's cheaper. But I do know that the driving dunk is cheaper at 6-6. Six, six. I do know that the steel is cheaper on 6-6. Six, six. I do know that the perimeter defense, the strength, the vertical are all cheaper at 6'6", and the pass accuracy, and the speed with ball. Speed with ball seems about even, but the pass accuracy is cheaper. So for the most part, yeah, you do get more when you go shorter, but for the most part, when you're comparing, comparing a 6'6 to a 6'3", 6'6 just get a lot more. Now, if this was to be a 6'2", it might be a lot different. Um, but I did want to do like the tallest like real meta big guard build versus the tallest real meta short guard build because i ain't gonna lie in my opinion six foot four is more so in the spectrum of the six foot five the six six you just get the small guard drill moves that's why i like the six it's the six four it's kind of like a blend of the six foot five and the six six if it was a small guard in my opinion because it just plays better defense than all the other small guards because it's taller and you can still get all the other stuff that you get on them small guards when it comes to animations and attributes so that's kind of how I think about it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the video. Um, Y'all do want more of these build comparison videos where we break down what's cheaper, what's better, the differences. Obviously, when you make a small guard, you pretty much going to make them to get more attributes. And you're going to make a big guard just to be able to be, have all that good scoring ability. Maybe not be as fast with the ball, especially when you've seen the speed of ball. It's just not going to be as fast with the ball. And one thing I say, small guards have an advantage of on a 6 for 5 on a six foot six is the speed of ball and when you have that high speed ball you can literally just run at somebody and blow right past them and put on legend lightning launch that's one thing i'll say but the defense on these taller builds especially in the paint is just gonna be a lot better especially if you like playing 1v1 if you've seen people make lives on this game you understand what i'm saying that will be a pretty big difference um but yeah for the most part i would say the six six does win this in my opinion, um, if you haven't seen my 6'6 build, go watch that. I'll put the link in the description. I don't think I dropped the 6'3 build for y'all boys yet. Um, in my opinion, I do think the 6'2s and the 6'4s are better. I just chose the 6'3s because I think that they are more popular. So, yeah, that's the video. Y'all do want more. Like the video. Subscribe. All that good stuff out the way. Further ado, your boy Fitz. I'm out of here, man. <laughs> I got digital dash, can't ride with a up. I walk in the store and I buy the stock. I hide in the bins and pull off the lot. Got Tiffany Diamond, it cost me a lot. They flying like birds. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah!